Yo, what's up guys, Complies here. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over with you guys how to play 120 FFV in Apex Legends. Now it was previously thought that 110 was the max FFV, but there's been a few people who have found out how to get around that and go even higher. The people who originally put this out there were Kanaka and Temper. I'll leave their links in the description below. And my friend Lobotomy has also made a video on it and I'll be leaving that in the description too, just to give them some credit. Be sure to check them out too, as they're the original people who found this. But before I get into this video guys, if you enjoy my content and I bring you any value at all, please remember like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn that notification bell on so you don't miss any future videos. Only about 19% of the people who watch my videos are sub. That number is steadily growing, but I want to push it up as far as possible. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Links to my social medias are in the description down below. I have Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. I have a growing Discord where you can meet lots of people. If you need anyone to play with or you have any questions, feel free to join that. And don't forget to follow my Twitch where I stream Apex just about every other day. But that's it for that, guys. Now let's get right into the video. Now, real quick, before I show you guys how to go into the game files and implement this, I want to discuss who 120 FOV is and isn't for. Now, with it come inherent weaknesses and advantages. If you're a newer player, I'd recommend to stay away from this because what raising your FOV does is it makes your targets very small and if you don't have a strong foundation on the game and an aiming yet, it's going to make these targets a lot harder to hit. However, if you're an intermediate and above player, I think you'll be just fine. This will all come down to personal preference. With this higher FOV, it's going to make your movement feel so much better. It's going to make you feel like you're moving a lot faster and it's overall just going to feel a lot more fluid. You're going to be able to see a lot more. You're going to have a lot more visual info. You'll be able to interpret fights a lot better because you just have so much more info coming in and things that you may not have seen before playing on a lower FOV. But do keep in mind that at least at first, aiming might feel a little bit weird because the targets are going to be a little bit smaller and you're going to perceive them to be moving a little bit differently. Your ADS sensitivity will also slightly change as well, but I'll be going over that in another part of this video. But like I said, if you're a newer player, you can try this out. I wouldn't recommend you to. I'd recommend you to get comfortable with the game and get a strong foundation first. But now that I've explained that a little bit, I'll show you guys how to do this and set it up in game. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into our Apex files and we're going to go into our profile.cfg and all that we have to do to find that is go down to your windows search bar type in save games click on that respawn apex profile and profile.cfg now this right here is what you want to change your cl fov scale now when this method first came out it said to set it to 1.8 but setting it to 1.8 will actually make it default to 1.7 since that's the max that you can do in this game so we're going to go ahead and change this to 1.7 hit save and then if you want to you can go down here to properties, hit read only and apply and hit okay. And what this is going to do is it's going to save your settings. So if you ever want to change any more of your settings, you're going to have to come back in here and uncheck read only, but that's it for that part. Now we're going to go into our auto exec. And to do this, all you have to do is go to wherever your apex is downloaded. So real quick to find that we're going to go into our steam, going to right click apex legends properties, local files, browse, you go three down into your CFG folder. And some of you guys might have this already, some of you may not. So I'm going to show you how to make an auto exec real quick. So to make our auto exec, all you have to do is copy and paste this config default. So I'm going to copy paste just for teaching purposes. I already have my auto exec. So I'm going to name this auto exec one. Keep in mind, if you don't have an auto exec, do not put the one there, name it just auto exec. Otherwise it's not going to find your file. So we'll double click on this. And then what you need to do now is you need to hit control A to select everything and you need to delete everything in that file. Once you've done that, copy the commands in the description below and paste them into here. And that's gonna be seal FOV scale 1.7 and bind you a standard F12 so that if you do happen to change some settings in game and you wanna go back, you have this option to execute these commands again and it'll put you back to 120 FOV. So once you've done that, file, save. You don't have to read only this because Apex itself isn't gonna change anything in your auto exec. But now once we've done that, we need to go into Steam, right click our Apex Legends, go to properties, go to general, and then right here in launch options, you want to make sure you have this plus exec auto exec. This is important because if you don't have this, it's not going to execute those commands that you have in your auto exec. But now that you've done that, we should be good to go. All right, guys. So now that we're back in Apex, I'm going to show you the difference between 110 and 120 real quick. And I'm also going to demonstrate how Bloodhound Ult and Octane Stim are no longer affected. Now, previously, if you were playing on 110, anytime you would Bloodhound Ult or Octane Stim, your FOV would increase. And that would result in inconsistencies in your aim and movement because of the increased FOV that you're not used to. But first, real quick, let me show you the difference between 110. This is 110 right here. No how I've lined up the dummies on the edge of my screen. Now pay attention to how much more room there is on the edge of my screen once I go up to 120. So right now I'm going to show you guys what 120 looks like. So that's what it's going to look like with 120 enabled. It's not going to look like a huge difference, but really it is. That's so much more visual info you're going to be getting, and it's going to allow you to interpret things a lot better. So once again, I've lined the dummies up real quick just to show you the difference in FOV when you use your Bloodhound ult. So this is 110 by default. Now watch what happens when I activate my ultimate. You'll see the FOV increase. I'll demonstrate that for you real quick. And you see how it slides out right there? This is what I was talking about that can cause inconsistencies with your aim. Since ADS sensitivity scales with FOV in this game, it's going to change a little bit every time you Bloodhound ult. However, this is what it's going to look like with 120 FOV enabled when you Bloodhound ult. Notice how I've lined the dummies up on the edge of the screen once again. Now watch what happens when I Bloodhound ult this time. 
there's absolutely no change in FOV. So your aim and your ADS sensitivity is going to feel much better. It's going to be a lot more consistent. And once you get used to this, you're going to be hitting a lot more shots. So next, I'm going to be demonstrating the octane stim. So this is what the octane stim is going to look like on 110 FOV. Pay attention to the dummies at the edge of the screen to see the increase. And I'll demonstrate that real quick. That's a pretty big increase and your FOV is also changing while you're in stim. So your ADS value does not remain consistent while you're in stim, which is going to cause a lot of inconsistencies. Now this is what the octane stim looks like on 120 FOV. Notice how there is no FOV change whatsoever. Like I said before with the blood handle, it's going to allow you to remain consistent get used to that ADS sensitivity and be able to hit a lot more shots. So that's going to be a massive benefit for 120 FOV right there due to your FOV always being 120 constantly. However, for me, it feels like the biggest advantage of 120 FOV comes with your movement. Now, I said this earlier in the video, but your movement is going to be a lot more fluid, which could be a placebo effect. But for me personally, when my movement feels crisp and clean, I play so much better. And I know there's a lot of people out there that can relate to that as well. But like I also said earlier in the video, one of the massive disadvantages of 120 FOV is going to be the smaller targets. So real quick, let me demonstrate that for you at range. So this is what a target looks like on 110 FOV. Notice how he's already kind of small at a medium distance. Now this is what a target's going to look like at 90 FOV. This is also known as the Shroud Papega FOV. Notice how this target looks like he's a lot closer than he actually is. He's a lot bigger. Now real quick, let me go back up to 110 so you guys can see that one more time. It gets a little bit smaller and it looks like it gets pushed back. However, this is what it's going to look like on 120 FOV. Notice how it gets pushed back even further. It becomes even smaller. Another thing that comes with this is the perceived motion of the targets. On different FOVs, it's going to make the targets look as if they're going at different speeds. So this could also result in having to retrain your aim just a tiny bit on 120. Now, another reason that your aim could be bad on 120 is that ADS sensitivity scales with FOV in this game. So real quick, I'm going to show you guys how to convert your old ADS sensitivity into your new ADS sensitivity on 120. So I'll leave this link in the description down below. I love this tool. It's amazing. I use it all the time. Now, before we do anything, you guys need to come in here and plug in all your settings. Right here is where you enter DPI. I play 1600, so I put 1600. You don't really need to do anything with width or height, your res. You can just leave that alone. Your field of view multiplier. Now, if you play 110 and you haven't changed any settings in game, it's going to be 1.55. You can also find this in your profile.cfg where your original CLFOV scale setting was. So mine was 1.55. I play on 0.65 sensitivity and my 1x optic is 1.3. And what this does is it results in an ADS sensitivity of 40 and a half centimeters per 360. Now, let's say I bump my field of view multiplier up to 1.7, which is what we use for 120. So I plug in 1.7. Notice how my ADS sensitivity slowed down to 42.26. Now all we have to do is keep bumping up our 1x optic sensitivity until it matches our old centimeters per 360. So my new ADS sensitivity would be 1.36. Now my old ADS sensitivity was 40.52. And with bumping this up to 1.36, I get 40.4, which is close enough for me. It doesn't have to be an exact match unless you want to. You can really go in and tinker down with the decimals. Like to find my exact setting, it would be 1.356. But 1.36 is close enough for me. However, it's going to come down to personal preference. If you want to go by the exact decimal, you sure can. And then to put this into our game files, all you have to do is copy that value right here. Go down to your search bar, type in save games, respawn, apex, local, settings.cfg. Scroll down a little bit. And then right here where mouse zoom sensitivity scaler is, mine's a 1.25. Like I said, I change it all the time, but I normally play in 1.3. All I would have to do is type in that new value that we have. Come up here, hit save. And then you're done overall i think switching to 120 would be very beneficial for most people but at the end of the day this setting and most settings are personal preference but i would say to give it a try if you enjoyed this video remember to like comment and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss another future upload the links to all my social medias are in the description below also in the description are the original founders of this be sure to check them out but yeah guys that's gonna be it for me i really hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day peace